Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from moretesters.com. Got a pair of CP3.9s in today. Gonna go ahead and just give you my overall first impressions. Much like the LeBron 13, this shoe, my initial thoughts or impressions can change as soon as I wear them. Why? Because trying them on is different than running around and playing basketball. But I will say that I don't initially hate these the way that I did the LeBron. Um, the LeBrons are coming along nicely, by the way, for anybody wondering. If you don't keep up with me on Instagram, I do post performance updates as I'm like in the gym and all that stuff, and I just kind of give you my thoughts as as to what I'm thinking while things are happening, just because it's more more organic maybe is the word, but it's just like, it's so like, it's in it's happening right there, so my, my thoughts on the shoe are fresh. But yeah, so I don't, I don't dislike these the way that I dislike the, the LeBron 13s when I first tried those on so um, but I don't like absolutely love them either I do think that these look really sick though but with that being said let's just go ahead and get right into it all right guys so here they are just a quick 360 I think these are called the emerald greens or the jades or something like that um, but I just like to call them the cp3s this right here I had read online their tech specs that this was a bungee lace system like the Air Jordan 10 but it's nothing like that what these actually are are the actual eyelets and then they are like sewn into the footbed down here just like fly wire is and these things are not bungee like at all they don't stretch and this one hurts like a son of a bitch. again that's just from trying them on so once i like run around in them stuff maybe it'll stretch a little bit or break in but as of right now this one that thing sucks they do feel like they're gonna provide a nice lockdown though so that's always a plus and then something that i was also disappointed with was the uh the leather that they used here i thought that it was gonna be like actual leather <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I just like I was looking at it. I was like, "Oh, that's awesome! They're using they're using raw materials plus soft materials, so it's like the best of both worlds." <laughs> But no, they used the thinnest, like, fake-looking leather stuff on this, and I was, I had to laugh, because I was like, man, you made it look just like leather, guys. Good job, Jordan Brand. Y'all really messed with me on that one. But I do really like the materials here. It's the textile mesh with the foam underlay, much like the Superfly 4s. Or if you saw my CP3.8 AE performance review, it's the same material as that, and I really like that material. And you got your little Achilles pillow right there, like on most of the CP3 models. And then in the back, you open up the little flaps, and you got the the little dragon there doing that reminds me of something it's a dirty joke so i'm not going to say anything else however you can see that this is not leather at all it's just plastic and a nice detailing on the tongue i really like this reminds me of the 23s speckled midsole for the win also just because you see lines on a midsole that does not indicate lunar the rib midsoles usually mean lunar not always but usually but this is not this is not a rib these are just these are like uh i don't know how to explain it. it's just lines on top of a flat surface versus something like this you know what i'm saying so this is just design and then this is is actually like showing you hey this is our lunar lawn some people got confused but yeah there's no no cushion in the heel of the shoe which I actually think is weird because they had been putting heel and forefoot cushion in the shoes and or at least cp3 shoes and I thought that those were you know a really nice touch now it is cored out here so it will absorb some sort of impact and all that stuff but I'm just saying that there's no actual tech or cushion in the the heel of the shoe the forefoot on the other hand offers articulated zoom that looks like it's been unlocked it looks like there's a little speed plate in there flight speed plate whatever the heck they call it now when i tried them on i i literally couldn't feel it so i don't know the last time that i used this type of cushion was with the air jordan 2012 they had the three different midsoles this was one of the options and i couldn't feel it then either so you know hopefully that changes when i run around and stuff like i said it, it, anything could change but as of right now I, I don't really feel it so you know it is what it is traction looks beast though and it's very soft so i would not play in these outdoors unless you want to ruin them fairly quickly but that pretty much takes care of it they fit true to size for anybody wondering thanks for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming performance review so until next time guys have a good one one wait yo what's good guys thank you guys for watching yo what's good guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope that you appreciate the fuck yo what's good guys thank you guys for watching fuck one <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Make sure that you check out weartesters.com. Link is gonna be straight up above. All you gotta do is click the, the Wear Testers banner. All of your sneaker news, sneaker performance reviews, and product reviews are gonna be over there. So if you need anything, 
check out weartesters.com. Make sure to check out that subscribe button right over here. Go ahead and click that. Greatly appreciated. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram right over here, which is where I'm most active at Nightwing2303. You can also follow Wear Testers at Wear Testers on both of those social platforms as well. Make sure you check out all of the latest video content below. You can check out the latest performance review, the latest Nightwing nose, the latest Wear Testers trash talk, and just my latest pickup or review, or maybe it's an unboxing. Who knows? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed everything. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all your support. So until next time, guys, have a good one. Try it. You might end up really liking it. A molded micro mesh is used along the entire upper with a few synthetic layers. In time, I also relate really well with Leonardo because I am very kind of like focused on whatever it is that this I'm This blue? Some, some water shoes or something. I would even take those weird finger shoes or put the Spider Man foam paws. Has the pattern that you would be like, yo, that's gonna work great. So I don't know what they're thinking. They should.